close our eyes, but that's not like in jail, you just don't turn around and close your eyes. I was looking and I just saw the <laughs> stabbed to death and after that well they took us to school after that like and nothing happened so it, was, it, it wasn't like any, anybody came to talk to us about you know what you just said hey. you want to talk about it wow. you feel about the situation sorry, um sorry, no really sorry. the report says no, no i'm okay, okay. yeah boys belong You just hit into the wall like that. No, I have that shit on camera, guy. Okay? You have that all on tape. That's beautiful. Yeah. Go close up to him. See what's happening. He fell asleep. Go beside him. Slow down. Let's see if he's okay. Slow down. Slow down. It's an old man. Slow down. Slow down, dog. Slow down. It's an old
video is hard to watch. The driver is hurt, and a toddler sitting a few rows back gets his teeth knocked out. But it's even worse for those on the first bus. Unaware of what's about to happen, and with no warning, 16 tons of metal plows right into them. Passengers tossed around like rag dolls. Troubleshooters spent months looking at hundreds of accidents involving via buses, including this one, which shows three handicapped people riding a via trans bus. The driver makes a left at a green light, but it's not a protected turn, and another driver rams right into the bus. Nobody was critically hurt in this wreck either. This VIA driver misjudges the clearance of his bus and smacks another car at Broadway and Hildebrand. Oh my God. And this driver forgets to set the parking brake on his bus. You can see him jumping in front, but a concrete pillar stops it. This driver drifts off the road and takes out a mailbox, sending it rocketing down the street. He later claims he was trying to avoid a cat that ran across the road, but when you look at the video, you can clearly see there's no cat.